So quiz 2, 2 to 2, 4, derivative rules, and this is the mod 7 quiz. Find the second derivative of the function. So looking at x, x is being multiplied by 2, then we're taking the tangent of that function. So working from the outside in, derivative of tangent is secant squared of the function. And then the derivative of 2 times x is 2. To find the second derivative, let's rewrite the first derivative so we can see the order. Now 2 is just a coefficient, so we multiply the derivative by the 2. Looking at x for the second derivative, x is being multiplied by 2. We're taking the secant of that function, and then we're squaring the entire thing. So working from the outside in, deriving something being squared, 2 times that function to the first power, times the derivative of the secant function is secant of the function tangent of the function, and then the derivative of 2 times x is just 2. So y double prime would give us 8 secant squared of 2x tangent of 2x. So multiplying all the values, and then we have two secants being multiplied. Find the equation of the line tangent to the graph of that function at the given point. So equation of a tangent line, that's our slope inter or point slope form. Our slope comes from the derivative of the function. So just like number one, rewriting this function so that the exponent is on the outside, we can see the order for the chain rule. So x is being multiplied by pi. We're taking the cosecant of that function, then we're squaring the whole thing. So for the derivative, 2 times cosecant of pi x to the first power. Derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. And then the derivative of pi times x is pi. So now we need to evaluate the derivative at the x coordinate given. <coughs> so 2 times negative 1 times pi. That will give me a coefficient of negative 2 pi. Then we have cosecant of pi times 1 fourth quantity squared times cotangent of pi times 1 fourth. Negative 2 pi. Cosecant is reciprocal of the sine function. Sine of pi over 4 is square root 2 over 2. So we're taking the reciprocal of that. Cotangent of pi over 4 is 1. So negative 2 pi times 4 divided by 2 gives us a slope of negative 4 pi. Plugging the given information into the point slope form. And that's our line. Let y equal u divided by v be the quotient of the functions u and v. So if we want to find the derivative of the function, we need the quotient rule. So y prime bottom times the derivative of the top minus top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. So to find the derivative of y at 1, we use the value of the function given. over v of 1 squared. So plugging in the information, negative 1 times 3 minus 2 times 1 all over negative 1 squared, negative 3 minus 2, negative 5 would be our final answer. The particle moves along a line. So its position at any time is given by the function. Find the velocity. So velocity is the derivative of the position function. Now for this position function, we don't need quotient rule to derive, even though you could have used it. But there's no variable in the numerator, so I'm going to rewrite it as a power rule. So the velocity, bringing the exponent down, subtracting one from the original exponent, this is my velocity function, negative 3 over x plus 2 to the fourth power. So one fraction, positive exponents. Now to find the acceleration, the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity function. So using the velocity function, 
with a negative exponent. So let's write it as a power rule to the negative 4. Negative 3 is a coefficient. Bring the exponent down. Subtract 1 from the original. So my acceleration function would be positive 12 over x plus 2 to the fifth power. One fraction, positive exponents. Acceleration and velocity. Find the point on the function where a horizontal tangent line to the graph exists. Horizontal tangent line is where the derivative equals zero, so we need the derivative of the function. Quotient rule, bottom times the derivative of the top, minus top times the derivative of the bottom, all over bottom function squared, 2x squared. Now I have to distribute a negative and the 2x <coughs> to the bottom, or the top rather. So I get negative 4x squared plus 2x, all divided by x to the fourth. So we get negative 2x squared plus 2x, all over x to the fourth. We can factor an x out of the numerator, and it cancels with one value in the denominator. So the derivative is negative 2x plus 2, all over x cubed. So now we have to set the derivative equal to 0. A rational expression is equal to 0 when the numerator is 0. So solving this, we get x is equal to 1. Now we need the point on the function. So we take the value we just found, 1, and plug it back into the original. So f of 1 equals 1. So to answer the question, the point on the function where a horizontal tangent line exists is the point 1, 1.